very on the nose. Yes. Hurricane <laughs> Chris, baby. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Perfect 10 Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Jacob Erty. Alongside me, as you already know, Daniel Dees. Beautiful. Yes. Um, real quick, just, you know, got to remind y'all, always brought to you by Boot Crew Media and the Kelly Gibson Foundation. That's right. Kelly Gibson Foundation is a community-driven nonprofit organization that focuses on supporting first responders, military initiatives, and children's athletic programming through golf in the greater New Orleans and Gulf Coast region. For more information, go to www.kellygibsonfoundation.org. Yes. And as you may have guessed by that intro or by the word you saw in your face as you read the title that you clicked on, we're doing top 10 hurricane snacks. Yeah, and if you're listening to this, that means we have been knocked out by a hurricane, can't really do much of shit. Right, yeah. So we kind of, you know, like last year, y'all missed us for like, was it two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah, we were really down for a while there. That means you're on the second chamber episode, the one we have backlogged. Correct. It means you just listen to sounds and now you listen to hurricane snacks. Right. Well, yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, so hopefully you didn't go through your hurricane snacks. Well, all right. So, dude, my list is this may be the only time I've ever constructed my list in this fashion. This was very hard for me because I love snacks, especially hurricane snacks, because when when the power's out, everything's gone to hell. All bets are off. All right. So I kind of did mine in order, not necessarily not necessarily. In order of like best snacks, like worst to best, but the order in which you need the snacks. Oh, I did like just hurricane snacks. So you like this is probably the only time you really eat these snacks. Is there uh, okay? All right, so we're gonna have. It's like you're not going out of your way at the gas station to get these. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you'll, so you'll, you'll, all right, you'll so our lists are gonna be very different then. Yeah. Mine is kind of the order in which you take in the snack during your hurricane experience yeah from when the hurricane first hits to like day 10 of the hurricane snacking yeah all right so go ahead and fire off my honorables oh uh, i don't have any honorable or dishonorable all right i got cheap. oh wait dishonorable i'll go um uh uh oh uh, dude what are they what are they what are they called dude i'll be i've eaten them a vienna sausage Fuck you. All right, anyways. <laughs> yeah, need, or, or or those law the hot uh sausage from the gas station. Pickle sausage? Yeah. Yeah, you're not eating that during a hurricane. It's too hot for that. Because <laughs> it's all stuffy and you don't want all that. You're right, yeah. I'll I'll agree with you for the dishonorable on that. Okay. Dishonorable, your old lady. Okay. Because we haven't showered. Okay. Things all are right. just raw. All right. See, this list is gonna be very interesting. Because <laughs> <laughs> I said normally you'll eat these things. All right, okay. All right, yeah. All right, honorable mention. I got cheese puffs slash cheese balls. Like, you know, the big container of cheese right. balls? Yeah. I got uh, cheese Whiz and crackers, pizza Lunchables, trail mix, chocolate covered pretzels, the popcorn that comes in the tin, pickles, PB and J. So you got a you got a lot in your list. Chewy bars and uncrustables. All right. That's that you yeah, okay. see. Um I don't even have any of those in my list. Crazy. Not exactly. See, you went specific snack. Yeah. I did too, kind of. It's we'll, 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 You'll see how it starts playing out. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and fire it off. I'll start with my 1098. Number 10, you just put in your dish. I got Vienna sausages. It's the only time you can really eat those things without looking like a psychopath. <laughs> I, I, knew, I, I threw that in my dish. I don't just because I knew it was probably coming shit. in your list. <laughs> you called that shit. Uh. Yeah, I mean, which is fine. You know, you're going to go through a lot of things in your pantry that you either, one, don't remember buying, two, haven't seen tucked behind stuff in years anyway. When you're eating the Vienna sausages, you know it's the struggle. You're at, you're at that point in the snacking. See, dude, when I was a little kid, though, I used to eat Vienna, Vienna sausage all the time. Yeah. the nasty, They got that nasty jelly in there, though. Uh, listen ah, to this. I'm ah. glad you brought that up. Don't tell me somebody be drinking that stuff, dude. I don't want to hear a story about that. <laughs> When I was in high school, I was walking out Walmart, uh, the A-Meat Walmart just did open. I get in my truck, and I look over this woman, pop the top, and just start drinking. Yeah, yeah. That's nasty, dude. That is unhinged oh. behavior. Oh. She's probably dead now. I would hope so. I, like it, if she didn't die, 
You can only do that so many times. I'm, I guarantee you, at least COVID took her out. You, you got to pack it like dip almost, get all that junk down to yeah, one yeah, side. Wake up, you can yeah, sling it all yeah, out. Yeah, you got to wake up the cancer in those things. Yeah. Oh, man. Number nine, I got fruit snacks. Whether it's a fruit roll-up, gushers. Or what about actual fruit? Are uh, you talking about just fruit snacks? Just fruit snacks. Okay. Is it Because fruit goes bad. Is is go like is Gushers a fruit snack? Yeah, they're listed as a fruit no snack. No way, dude. Yeah, I mean, maybe those little um Welches, yeah, Welchers are, or whatever. Yeah, the, got those Mott's fruit snacks. The goat. Yeah, those but, things are great. Fruit roll ups. Uh, you know what I, I mean. guess they're fruit Gushers, huh? Yeah, that's not gushers. a fruit snack though. It is. I guess it is. That is. It is. Yeah, are are runts a fruit snack? They're all shaped like fruits. That's a candy. You know, snack, candy, same no, difference. No, they got to be soft and chewy. Okay, I hear you. All right, number eight. This is the best. Like, Dude, hold on, time out. That just made me think. You remember? Oh, dude, it was something similar to fruit roll-ups. They were actual fruit snacks. They were like real, like, it was almost like it was a hard version of like, like strawberry jam or grape jam. What? Oh, dude. I think it came stacked in little strips. You know, like a fruit roll-up is rolled up with, with the paper. It was it had like the little papers between it, and it was actual fruit snacks, like fruit preserved snacks. No idea what you're talking about. No, oh, dude, somebody's gonna know what I'm talking about. I know I'm not making this up. Like they were, it was almost like you took the innards of uh, like a fig Newton and like that's disgusting. Spread it out over no, <sighs> fig Newtons are gross. It was like super mealy. Somebody's got to know what I'm talking about. I don't know. All right. Anyway. My number eight. This is like, I eat, I eat these mostly during hurricanes because it's like it's symbolic for New Orleans. It's a New Orleans-based snack. I got Chiwis. Like the Cheeto knockoff from New Orleans. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I got you. Yeah. Get the green onion. Uh, the barbecue. Great shit. I don't know that I've ever had those. Stop off at your gas station. Is get it, the, get is the it, green onion chiwis. Awesome. Is it made by Zaps? No, it's Elmer's. Okay, but like it's a it's the bag package like that looks like it is probably from Zaps. Hold on. I think I know what you're to- talking about. Um. Wait, it looks like Cheetos. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty positive. I know what you're talking about. I don't think I've ever tried. How the hell do you not have like know what these are? Okay, yeah, 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 definitely have seen them before. Yeah, the, the green onion, those are the best. Never tried them. You have to. Uh, I mean, are they better than Cheetos? I would hope. Cheeto, Absolutely. Cheetos suck. Yeah, Cheetos, regular Cheetos are hot garbage. Okay. We've well, been on we, record. At least we, we, we can we, agree we, on that. We already agreed on this on chips. Okay. Top 10 chips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. both made our dishonorable. It's so annoying that Cheetos come in every variety pack of chip bags. Why? The Flamin' Hot are great. Right, that's, I love that's the fine. Flamin' Hot. That's fine. Tastes nothing like regular Cheetos. Right. Cheese puffs are good. Tastes nothing like regular Cheetos. Correct. I mean, I'll eat them, but I don't go on my way to eat them. Yeah. Like I, like, I don't get mad when my kids wipe them out in the, the variety pack. Shut the whole thing down. Dude. Oh, that would suck. You just accidentally clicked that little button. Um. Okay, so that was your 1098? 10-9-8. So my number 10 spot. All right, so like I said, this is a progression of the order in which you need the snack. Or how it's it's a it hinges a little on how good the snack is as well, mm-hmm. how much it applies directly to hurricanes. So it's a real mixture of of voting weight here. All right, uh, I just posted today the on the Instagram things not to ask your girlfriend. Okay, I seen somebody just commented on. It. I didn't get beers at the turn. Yeah, boot crew, go follow them. They put in quotation mark. What's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's that dude Jacob, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, that is hilarious. Uh all right. So um so my number 10. You actually had it in your dishonorable. So this is when the hurricane is on the way in. Mm-hmm. You said fruit. No, uh, I got your significant other. Oh yeah. <laughs> you still got AC. You probably just got done kind of partying because you know, hurricane parties, whatever. Yeah. So you're snacking on okay, your significant this is other. Pre-hurricane. Okay, this is as the hurricane 
Yeah, you might as well get one last sim before things just start getting It's about to get hot and nasty for and raw. Right, for a couple days or weeks. So my number 10 spot what is... What a perfect segue from what... <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Damn, that, that couldn't have been any more perfect. What's that smell? And, oh, yeah. well, Probably and, give you a headache. And oddly enough, though, I mean, maybe it's just where we're at uh, you know somehow it's all, all almost always seems like the hurricane hits at night yeah i've never seen a hurricane hit like at two in the afternoon i don't know i mean i don't know why it every is. hurricane that's like fucked us up that i've been through is always hit at night when Overnight. i'm asleep yeah that is so crazy <laughs> that you just mentioned that so uh yeah so your significant other my 10 spot <clears throat> all right so the next thing the next snack you go to mm -hmm. hurricane just hit powers out I got any ice cream in the freezer. Okay. You got to snack on that first. Okay. Yeah, you got to go for the it's, freezer. It's about to melt. Got to get that knocked out out the way because that's really your only time to snack on it. Yeah. Because you, you got to clear all the meat out, the pizza rolls, all that shit. Okay. My number eight spot. Whatever meat that's about to start spoiling. <laughs> Fire it up. Hey, whether you're cooking it, whether... Now, like lunch meat is an A1 hurricane snack, but... It, it ain't lasting long. Oh, no, I'm wiping that. That's like one of the first things I'm, I'm, I'm exactly. killing in the fridge. You're killing everything out the freezer. Like, I'm making, like, the biggest, meatiest sandwich you could think of. You bro, exactly. You move over to the fridge. Um, you know, maybe you got an ice chest. Maybe you're ready. You throw the, the, the lunch meat in the ice chest for it to last a couple days, and then you just cook whatever you had thawing out in the fridge already anyway. Yeah. But that's my number eight is uh, whatever meat that's about to start spoiling. Good there. All right, number seven. I got snack cakes. Okay. Snack cakes are good. Like I said, all bets are off. You don't care about what you're eating, what you're putting in your body. Well, you're about so, to be sweating a bunch anyway. Yeah, so you're just going to hammer all the calories, all the sweets, all the sodium. Yeah, hurricane calories don't count, dude. Everybody nah, knows that. No, no, they don't. Anyway. You're about to have to be outside cleaning up sticks and limbs Picking up and branches. Stuff. You can work that off anyway. Yeah, absolutely. And you're pounding waters anyway. Correct. And... You're sweating regardless if you want to or not. Yeah. It's like, if, like the worst time to be like a person is like during a hurricane. You're like, you're the type of person who hates sweating. Oh, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, you're in the wrong state, partner. Yeah. Move, move north. Yeah. Uh, so that was my number seven. Number six, I got beef jerky. See, beef jerky could be in the one spot. Honestly. It could, but the reason I have it, my number six, the price of it. If you stock up on beef jerky, yeah, you break in the bank. You break in bank on that's like twelve dollars a pack, dude. It just keeps going up. It's so insane. So it, it may be, I mean, short of as far as food goes, like that's price gouging. It might be the most expensive meat per ounce. Has to be. I mean, other than like obviously like a wildly like fancy a, steakhouse, like a fila, yeah. But as far as just like consumer meats, you know, oh yeah, price browns through the roof. All right, so that's my seven six. <clears throat> my number seven spot. Um, this is where I kind of go off the rails of necessarily the order. Um, but wait, what is that? Um, my number seven spot. I hardly ever see him anymore. Seems like back in the day, like around Katrina. T I guess I mean, kind of made it, maybe would have made more sense around then. Anyway. I uh, haven't seen one in a long time. For a while, people just had them and were just snacking on them randomly because they had so many left over. I got MREs. We'll get there. Okay. I haven't seen one in years. We actually had them during... Uh, After Ida? Yeah. So that makes Walmart sense. Walmart was... That, well, like, Ham and Walmart, Amy, Walmart were, like, canning them out. It makes sense after one that's, Not like, as good. wildly devastating because, like, you kind of need them. Yeah. We'll know? get to that, though. Okay. So my number six spot. I got uh, just good old-fashioned dry cereal. You ain't got milk left. It's done spoiled. Yeah, you can just snack on that. I love dry. I love dry cereal oh, anytime. Like, oh yeah, I like. I love raw cereal. Uh, Fruit Loops. So, uh, same goes for Pop Tarts, Honey Nut like, Cheerios. I'll, like for Pop Tarts, I don't even pop them in a toaster. I'll eat them straight out the package. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely are a little nicer out of the toaster, but you absolutely uh, don't need to toast them. Yeah, because usually when I'm eating a Pop Tart, I'm going out the door. I'm not waiting for a there's Pop something. Tart. I don't know how the inside of a Pop Tart gets so hot in the toaster, and the outside doesn't get doesn't seem as hot. Yeah, you figure that happened in a microwave, right? But the in, inside's like molten. Quick question: Not enough Pop Tarts out there to do a top ten. So, what's your top two Pop Tarts? Oh, there's enough, dude. 
Well, no, top two. Yeah. Wildberry, strawberry. So you have Wildberry number two, s'mores number one. Okay. S'mores are good. Uh, but I do like, all right, for strawberry, frosted or unfrosted? Frosted. Thank you. There's people out there. Or who, blueberry frosted. Fun fact. Look it up. You probably won't believe me. The frosted strawberry Pop-Tarts has less calories than the unfrosted. Okay, don't know how that's possible, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I mean, it blew my mind when I looked uh, it up. I did just realize that I forgot to do the trivia question earlier. Uh, um, you want to fire it off? Where are we at? I just did my six. So you're about to do your five? Yeah. Well, I said before top fives. All right. All right. How many... Where is it at? Okay. <clears throat> So I tried to Google how many hurricanes have hit, have hit the United States, which Shit. clearly they can't go be you know before a certain point. Of Dude, that's been going like forever since. Well, obviously, <laughs> weather has happened. I mean, weather's since the been beginning going. of time. <laughs> yeah, since before uh, creatures walked on land. Uh, so since they started documenting in eighteen fifty one, all right, just the United States. Because you got to go with the East Coast. There's little pussy hurricanes, too. So that is, what, a 171 years? 171 years. So, wow, when when, it, when you put it that way, this seems low. I'm going to say 684. See, that's what I'm saying. This uh, So think way lower. No shit. See, I did 174 times 4. No, right. A 696. But because, like I said, I'm counting those little bitch hurricanes that hit the East Coast. Yeah, this because when they get to the Gulf, they get strong. That's I didn't do the math earlier. Being that that's 171 years, I think I'm doing the math right. This number are they only counting the ones that happen in the Gulf? Well, it's definitely only ones that are officially named a hurricane. So not tropical storms, not tropical depressions. Uh, because they do. All right, so let me. And you got to think a lot of them run up the East Coast and never actually make landfall. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go. I still think, though, they weren't documenting too terribly well in, in the... I'm going to go 256. The, okay, 301. I multiplied it by uh, one and a half. Yeah. Um, just because I wanted to low ball a little so bit. So just another quick fun one, though. Of the 301 hurricanes that have hit in the last 170 years, how many hit Florida? <laughs> oh, all of them? <laughs> uh, Dude, living in Florida has to be yeah. such trash. <laughs> Why would anybody want to live in Take Florida? Take a wild guess, dude. Of the 301, how many hit Florida? 290. Okay, now nah, it's only 120, but I mean, it's still over a third of ever one. That sucks. Like, why, again, why, would, <laughs> why the hell do you want to live in Florida? There's nothing appealing about living in Florida. Uh, No, dude, they got awesome beaches and weather in some spots, dude. South Florida, great time. Okay, whatever. I can go to Cali. I hear you. Um, Or Virginia Beach. So we are in your top five. All right, my number five. I know you had this listed. I got Chips Ahoy cookies. Don't have it. No shit. Um, so I figure you'd be the first one to have at least three bags in there. At least just cookies. I don't even have cookies on my list. No shit. That's surprising. Uh, nope. Don't have it. That's crazy. I mean, I'll take it. I literally ate two cookies. A while ago, after I like, before we started, yeah, Chips Ahoy in the blue bag. No, no, no. I, I started getting. I think they're called like. I think uh, it's not soft batch like back in the, like the what the red bag. Ah, those are trash. Soft baked. I think they're what they're called. What's that? I can't remember what the brand. Like is. the only good soft cookies are ones that come from Subway. Miss Fields, dude. The, oh yeah, shit. Miss soft Fields. batch cookies were good though back in the day. Don't be talking trash about soft batch, dude. They're like the only ones that have the chocolate chip on the inside of the cookie. Yeah. But yeah, the red bag of Chips Ahoy is absolute trash. Yeah, not the Chips Ahoy one. Yeah, they're, they're the actual awful, soft batch cookies. Awful, awful. My family loves the chewy Chips Ahoy. And I don't like the chewy stuff. They taste like they've gone bad. Soft baked, but not the chewy. Like they do something different with the chewy. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's, it's garbage. All right, number four, moon pies. Dude, th that have we done river snacks? No. Then you can put your old lady on that one. Hey. It is hot and messy out there, too. Though, yeah. <laughs> but you're drunk. You don't give up. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> River rat season. Hey. <laughs> what happens at prop shop? Nah, I mean, I probably don't know what happened anyway. You know what I'm saying? There you go. <laughs> uh, anyway, but, oh, dude, moon pies. The, uh, dude, I haven't had a moon pie since probably the late 90s. 
Maybe early 2000s. Dude, the banana one still smashed. The double decker? Oh, so like the banana that double decker. That extra wafer in there it does help. Man. I'm not I'm I'm anti middle bread when it comes to like a Big Mac. I'm very pro middle wafer when it comes to any snack. Okay. I'm telling you, the moon pies, they don't have a single bad flavor. All of them. Hit. It's just chocolate vanilla. And banana, and they have an orange. Wait, banana is the yellow one, is it? Yeah. Not? Wait, so they don't have vanilla. They do. Is it like white? Yeah. Ah, okay. It's good. They're all good. Well, I only know banana and chocolate, really. You can eat them plain. You can microwave them. You can Wait, freeze them. They're is all there great. a strawberry? No. Wait. No, I don't think there's a strawberry. What's the other color? What's the other color? Orange. Oh, or- what? I think, I think orange is new. I, okay, I ain't never seen an orange I one. I think it is. Otherwise, I just dream that. I mean, I'll try an orange one. I will, too. It's like citrusy sweet. Yeah. How could that be bad? Right. But the banana ones are my favorite. Okay. Yeah, right. you gotta get the double decker moon pie. So that was your five four. That was my five four. My number five spot. Um, you've ran out of lunch meat. You've run out of. You don't have a toaster. You you just start snacking on some bread. Just eating bunny bread straight out the bag. Any bread you got, really. Nah, you know? Not me, man. I can't eat bread by itself. Oh, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta have some butter. Nah, dude. Same thing that trash you were talking last week about. Uh, well, not last week because who knows when this is coming out. Yeah. But same trash you were talking about airheads. How you get them all balled up? You just ball up the bread and you just just gnaw on it, dude. You are the only person who most likely does <laughs> no, that, dude. I mean, I haven't done it since I was a little kid, but. Dude. <laughs> But no, I'm just saying like that, that's psycho behavior. No, just ball up a piece of bread and just pop it in. No, the reason I have like pack your lip like a dip. No, the reason I have bread in there is because you've most likely kind of gone through all your other normal snacks. No, and that you, you got to mix it up a little bit. I'll, I'll feed the ducks before I eat just plain bread. I got to have some butter, salt, pepper on it. <laughs> bare minimum. OK, you got salt and pepper. I got to put some butter on it. You don't have room temp butter, dude. I love room temp butter. Well, you it spreads go. easy. Boom. Well, then you just said plain bread. Oh, well, whatever, dude. You can dress it up. It's bread. Okay. Just say bread. Don't say just plain bread. Well, no. Plain bread is also fun sometimes, dude. No, it's never fun. You tear the crust off and you just eat just bread, dude. That's disgusting. <laughs> no, dude. That's that. No, hell no. no you put, lost me on that one. I put it in there because it's something you don't think of, but you definitely have around. If I, that's like apocalyptic. <laughs> it's like last resort. That is last, last resort. No, dude. After I think I eat raw rice before no, I just dude, eat plain no, no, ass no, no, bread. No, no. You've already eaten four MREs. You've already eaten just bags full of dry. So you, like you got You don't think about bread. Yeah, there's a reason for that. It is a good snack, dude. dude. Trust the process, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Whatever. So that's my five. I don't spot. trust your process. My number four spot. Uh, I probably went a, a little too broad with this. Um, it's kind of a, it's a each their own. Though I got chips. All about chips. You know, I mean, yeah. yeah. I, but for me, I had to put one. I just put Chewies. Okay. Otherwise, I just kept listing off chips. Well, I'd go Doritos. You know, or mm. you probably most Pringles. Like, okay. Yeah. Barbecue Pringles, of course. Oh, that's the best flavor. Um. But yeah, just chips in general. I mean, you can go classic Lay's. You can go you, barbecue you, Lay's, you, raw food. You can eat any type of chip. Any, any, just plain old tortilla chips. Right. You know. So I just got, I'm with you on that. I got chips in the four spot. All right, my number three spot. This is the main thing I, I <clears> stockpile <throat> when it comes to hurricane prep. I got Slim Jones. Okay. Um, I love a good meat stick. Uh, beef jerky's cheap cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Tra- trash cousin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and like those keep too. No, <laughs> for honestly, till eternity. Yeah. I, I, have you ever opened one up that's like shriveled and dry? Though? No, it's wild. <laughs> it's a bad it's a sight to see. You still eat it. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Uh, dude. Um, uh, good. Yeah, I mean, it just it just keeps. I know, I know what you mean. Itching. Oh, uh, that little. It's like right. Yeah. That's that, it's like right where the hair is in the nose. Uh-huh. Makes it look like you're picking a booger, but you're not because it's like a little dry patch in there. So yeah. it's just crazy. That's like the worst nose itch. Uh, I, I know what you mean. So that was your wait. So the uh, beef jerk? Yeah. In the oh no, no, uh Slim Jim. Yeah, uh, in, Slim Jim. In, in the three spot? Yeah. The trailer trash beef jerky. Um all right, so my number three spot. Again, probably a little too bland. Mm-hmm. Mine specifically would be tuna. 
but I got those canned goods you've been sitting on for years waiting for a hurricane to hit to eat up. You know, what? I'd go tuna, especially if you got some crackers laying around. Tuna. You only tune out the can, dude? No. It's, I, got, I got to make a tuna salad with that. I hear you. I mean, I, you just go fork tuna, dude. Well, you well re- recently, I've been Don't eating. drink the juice, though. That is gross. Yeah. But lately, I get, like, the tuna pouches. They got the buffalo flavor, the buffalo tuna. Phenomenal. Oh, it's already it already comes that flavor? Yeah. Is that uh, Star Kissed or yes. Chicken of the Sea? Yes. Star Kissed. Buffalo tuna. Just put that on a cracker. If you're feeling a little frisky, put a pickle on it, a little pickle chip. Oh, I got to try that out. It is great. It will change. Like, that's a river snack. That's yeah. a golf course. Well, I wouldn't say golf course. That's a lot of sodium. So I just got those canned goods you've been sitting on, whether it be Spam or or, or uh, Vienna sausage or tuna. Uh, you know, if it's hot enough, just sit, the, a san, I sit a can of, uh, like, ravioli or whatever outside, let it heat up. Yeah. I forgot we did that. Just yeah. put the... the like the cans out, let them heat up like some beefaroni. Yeah, let that sun do some work for you. Yeah. yeah uh, good pick. So that's my three spot. All right, my number two. You just already mentioned it. I got the MRE. Yeah. Meal ready to eat. Meal ready that's to eat. That's when you know shit has gone and south. It over ain't here. ready to eat. Yeah. Man. You still got to take that little pouch of whatever and yeah. co- like, quote unquote, cook it. I'll, like, I'll never forget coming back to school after Katrina. Like, we were trading MREs like Pokemon cards. Like, for hey, real. Like, hey, I got, I'll give you two beef stews for one lasagna. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, and then like beef and mashed potatoes or whatever. Yeah. I mean, they were gross, but you ate them because you're so hungry. They yeah, they weren't great. good. Yeah, they're not good at all. I mean, some of them came with like greasy pieces. You eat those first. Right. When you should save them for last to get the rest of the taste out your mouth. Yeah, but I will say the lasagna was pretty damn good. Lasagna was good. Uh, what was another flavor we used to like? It was high in demand. Oh, the beef stroganoff. That was. I don't remember all the flavors. Beef stew, beef stroganoff, lasagna. A lot of beef based. Uh, yeah, I guess it's got something to do with like beef stock and. Probably. They just add a ton of sodium to it. Yeah. So that was my number two. MREs. My number two. This this goes for either when the hurricane is approaching, whether it just hit, or whether you just patiently waiting for power to come back on i got any alcohol in sight oh we're so close that's my number one uh, i got booze at number one uh, they said that you it took you till we ju- when you just got here to think no, no, that's uh another list oh, okay yeah dude booze was obvious number one all right hurricane parties are great right i mean that's like silver line and making the best out of a terrible situation yeah and i mean you know, maybe maybe you already you were lucky enough to you know have a generator and some fuel and a, and a you know a window unit and you're just just sit literally sitting around doing absolute nothing and just Correct. getting trashed. Oh yeah, that's well. I mean, what else are you gonna yeah, do? Yeah, exactly. What else are you gonna do? Listen right. to the radio. Listen to the news. No, you're gonna you're gonna drink, <laughs> get drunk, hit golf balls in your backyard. Might as well. That's I mean that is just that's a really a good time. See, I even plugged I plugged in the core. I thought we were gonna both say booze at number one. Ah, uh, okay. So I mean, you know, well, that was my number two, your number one. So back to my number one. What's the one thing you always have to remember as an adult? Wipe your ass until you can't <laughs> see the autograph. <laughs> no, so you're boozing, but you're also water. Water. You're also that's ju- not a snack. Huh? That's not a snack. It's the number one thing you have to have with you but for a hurricane. But the list is hurricane snacks. I snack on water all day, dude. How is it not a snack? If booze is a snack, how is water not you a snack? You can fill up on beer. Huh? You can fill up on beer. Oh, so you're talking about calories. Yeah. No, this motherfucker put water. No, dude. You got it. No, well, some people don't drink water, dude. Maniacs. Yeah. Like, I've been drinking more and more water as I get older. Like, yeah. That's like my favorite thing. I probably like. had two gallons today. It was so hot today. I was, I'm approaching gallon and a half uh i as soon as i wake up i, I like I always put like a fresh bottle well, so, of water on my nightstand as soon as i wake up that's yeah. the first thing i'm so pounding. i love water so love water to me too. water is a snack it's the essential it's life's essential yeah it's nature's energy drink i mean i guess if you're thinking calories sure it's not a snack but when have you nobody snacks on water oh i do all the time dude. i love water unless you freeze it put some syrup on and call it a snowball fair <laughs> There you go. Uh, You're not snacking on water. That's bullshit. That's the worst number one pick uh, <laughs> ever. That's not a snack, dude. I mean, that, you don't have you don't have to love it being a snack, dude. 
Because it's not a snack. I mean, dude, it's better than half your number ones you've had lately, bro. Bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, <laughs> Motherfucker said water is a snack. Uh, it Ruin is, the integrity of that list. It is if you enjoy it. Yeah, the, that's not a snack, though. So, what? All right, hold on. Let's do something real fast. Dude, something, I- something with flavor, something with pizzazz. Oh, fucker, gonna put water. In. Wait. Um, oh, a sexually attractive person snack. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Whatever, dude. That was the, the most obvious number one for me. As it, what is it? Uh, it is an essential, though. I mean, I guess it doesn't have any calories. A small whatever. amount of food eaten between meals. Between meals, yeah. Whatever, dude. You're not eating. To a sexually attractive person. Yeah, yeah. That's, that is hilarious. That, that has become what the first two things that pop up when you Google something. She, the sentence they put is, she likes to snack on yogurt. That's the one they went for, yogurt. Yeah. That's, Google, you suck. Uh, anyway, all right, do rundowns, dude. All right, number 10, Vienna sausages, nine, fruit snacks, eight, chiwis, seven, snack cakes, six, beef jerky, five, chips ahoy cookies, the blue bag, four, moon pies, three, slim gems, two, MREs, and number one, booze. All right, 10, your significant other, <clears throat> nine, any ice cream out the freezer, eight, whatever meat that's about to spoil, seven, MREs, six, dry cereal, five, bread, four, chips, three, uh, your favorite canned good. Two, any alcohol in sight. And number one, water. Yeah. Um, so we don't know when this is coming out. So we don't know what you're getting next week. Or, we, well, hopefully we'll be here next week. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <You know? laughs> if not, you get more chamber episodes. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. Because we're recording in like July right now. Yeah, facts. Back when shit Which was I peaceful. I think technically it's hurricane season. It is. It starts in June. Okay. Technically, by definition, really, hurricane season don't start till late August. Right, that's when they start hammering. <laughs> that's when the big motherfuckers bust through the line. Uh, so, uh, yeah, don't forget to go like and subscribe. Uh, hit the five stars. Uh, go check out Boot Crew Media and the Kelly Gibson Foundation. Um, until you see us again, peace. peace.